Well, as you can see, the sun is just coming up. It's going to be a beautiful day. Today is July the 4th. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be good. I rested yesterday. So, I'll keep you posted on how the day goes and if I see interesting things and I'll, I'll stop and video. But boy, that sun sure is pretty coming through them tree limbs. Look at that. Straight up beautiful. Doing great, doing great. I'm probably gonna need to tune up yeah. uh, before the season's over. It's light. Yeah, it's, it's light compared to mine. Yeah, it's a 2012. Okay. It was handmade in Waterloo, and the last last run, it's a 5.2, and uh, to replace it would be seven thousand dollars. I didn't pay, but. Three thousand eight hundred. But three thousand eight hundred to replace it would be a little, maybe even a little more than seven thousand. But I, I'm going to get it tuned up, take it into A and B, yeah. and uh, have it uh, ready so I can finish the the season out. Yeah. But I don't know. I may go another thousand, fifteen hundred miles before I do that. I think it makes a world of difference. Colors and just what came on it. Wow, it looks good. Thank you. It looks very expensive. Sometimes you don't have to have a high dollar wheel set to do it. It just yeah, they just come good with a good wheel set. Get a picture of y'all too while I got a chance. Time. Oh, really? Gonna be a pretty day. Yeah. Yeah. The clouds are kind of moving. Yep. The doors are so heavy. I'm afraid to go down there. Well, don't don't go down there. Don't open. You don't have to open. Oh, that's fine. One, I can tell it's in heavy. Fact, I... Oh, look at the big old toasted frog. Yeah. Um, He's good for eating bugs. Yeah, he is. There uh, was a snake down there. Well, they'll find a cool place. Yeah. But yeah, I see it's deeper than some of the other ones. Yeah. But the top of it is is it's concrete. Concrete. Yeah. Well, there's several of them that are rounded concrete. Yeah. And I wondered would the same fella built it. So, how long would you say this has been here? Hundred years. Hundred years. Or more. Yeah. This was my grandparents' place. I was born here. It's beautiful. And you was born here. I was born in the bedroom in there. Goodness. But I grew up um, on the other hill over there. Okay, the other house. Over on the okay. On the north side. That's where the oh, south oh, yeah. is with yeah. the tree in it. Yeah. That's where my folks lived. And okay, I, that's what I heard. Yeah. There's a young couple, a little girl and a boy. He's real tall. She's like that. And they was cutting hay. They live... 
They that's my nephew. That's your nephew? Uh -huh. Okay. They're the ones went in and fixed the house up and rented it out. Yeah, my daughter wanted it, but they couldn't come to a settlement, so it's... Hopefully, they, my nephew will always keep it, but it's so sad to look over there and know that no family's living there, you know. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's rented. It's rented. But that's okay. It's still yeah. in the family. Yeah. So, let me ask you this question. There was a little cow right over here in this field, and it looked like it was pregnant, huge. It was bloated, and I don't know what happened to it. It just gone? Yeah, well, I haven't thought to ask my, my nephew rents this place. Okay. Probably. He probably passed away yeah. and went off in, could have just went off in the back. Yeah. back. Cows are like that. They'll go yeah. off. So when you was a little girl, was this a milk farm? Uh, no, it's always been... Well, sheep. My grandpa raised sheep, you know. But my folks was the milk farm. They had, they milked. Okay. Down that way, where the silo is. Yeah. That was more of the dairy part of it. Yeah. So, how far did y'all's family go this direction? Just uh, up to the next house was my grandfather's place. Up to the next house? Yeah. And how far back does everything go? Pretty... I used to own that back there on the hill, but I sold it to my oldest brother when I remodeled this. And my oldest brother lives on the, in the house just... Right next to you. Yeah. Well, that's the one with the windmill. Yeah. Yeah, he got the windmill and... Uh, well, that came from another place. There wasn't a windmill there. He bought it from somebody. He said it was a landmark for years and years. People could see it yeah. and then the trees growed up and kind of blocked it. So that stone house over there is older than this house. Or well, I, no, I doubt that it's older. I can remember there was a cistern out here that they used to get water out of. Mm -hmm. We had them in Mississippi. Yeah. 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 And people think, well, you can't drink out of that. That's well, better they, water than what we got <laughs> now. You know, people are... Uh, so antibiotic crazy now that they probably it probably would kill them. You know. <laughs> yeah, they ain't got no immune system. Yeah, right. We've grown up with an immune right. system. I love your flowers. Well, I sure don't take a, care of them like I used to. Well, you still cut the yard. Yeah. You still but work. All I gotta do is just go out and get on that thing. You know. You get it running and then hop on it and yeah. take off. Well, thank you for talking to me. I, 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 I love talking to people. Um, my mother, Annabelle Huber, Scott Hubry, she used to write for, um, oh, the headliner, lots of different magazines. Um, I think there's some online that she my was, daughter put online. She was an author. Say her name again. Annabelle Scott Hubry, W-H-O. B R E Y. And she wrote for for magazines and yeah. things. For the Mountaineer, I don't know if you're familiar with the. Mm -mm. It's out of business, I think. So what year was your mother born? Um. Nineteen. Uh, Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. She died before she was a hundred, and she's been dead about three years. So. Goodness. Yeah. And still had her good mind. That's the that's a blessing there. Yeah. Nothing wrong with her mind. She just couldn't get around. So she probably was born at the turn of the century. Yeah. Yeah. So you was born in the 40s. I was born turn of the century, too. Turn of the century, <laughs> too, huh? I was born in 38. 38? Yeah. Okay, before the Great War, the yeah. Second Great War. Yeah. Well, today is the 4th of July that I'm actually talking to you, yeah. and I actually riding lawnmower. She has got a husk varner. Ain't that a husk varner? <laughs> That's a husk varner, people. What was this? That is an ice crusher. A ice crusher? My, my husband got that. <coughs> he loved junk. You can tell by my shop. <laughs> um, this came from my Fairhaven Children's Home over uh -huh. by Stratford. Uh-huh. And it, uh, you hooked it up some way with a... What was it, a PTO? I mean... Like a shaft, yeah. yeah. And you put your blocks of ice in here. Yeah. And the chips come out at the bottom. Yeah. 
These young people, if you tell them about a block of ice, they don't know what they we're talking yeah, about. Right. They used to bring us in Mississippi, Greenville, Mississippi, the ice guy would make a run yeah. and he, he, he'd try to beat the milk guy yeah. because come Monday we needed ice. Right, yeah. <laughs> so I knew you was from the south, but I couldn't, I didn't know where. So Greenville, you know. Mississippi and the Delta and uh, growed up when they was bringing ice and, uh, and milk, milk was coming. And, uh, of course we we had our own milk since my dad milked, you know, but the, the ice man, yeah, he brought ice. I do not, I don't think I remember the ice man, but yeah. anyway. We had a refrigerator. I'm telling you, it. I, I thought we was never going to get rid of it, you know. <laughs> I knew my friends was getting them fancy frigidaires that had a ice, make, you know, yeah. like a freezer on yeah. it. And uh, our ice box, just that's what it was. It was just an ice box. Yeah. But that was, uh, it, it was before 65, because I think come 66, we got a new, newer model. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to show you the label on this product. And I can't pronounce that name, but it's Z-A-T-U-R. AL.com and this is the best recovery um, hot cream I have found and actually Laura found it but I highly highly recommend this product it's what's keeping me doing these centuries and it helps me recover in a 24 hour period which is incredible for well I'm 21 but in the physical uh, I came into this physical incarnation in 1961 so that makes me uh, 58 and I'm here to tell you that we can do and be and have and stay young healthy just romp and rip and do things that other people wonder how and it's a lot of it right now is because I found this cream and I highly endorse it and highly recommend it if you're looking to be able to recover from your activities this is the something well this they've got other products other than this one but this one is what I'm using right now and it's what I can tell you that works for muscles, ligaments, uh, behind the knees, in, on the knee, uh, down into the ankle, the foot, um, anywhere that you're hurting for ligaments, tenants, and muscles. It's, it's a remarkable product. So I highly, highly endorse it. I'll put a link in the description so you can see it. And I'm, if the camera's shaking, it's because I just come off a 107-mile bike ride. Haven't even stopped to catch my breath. I just wanted to, before I yank all this gear off, I wanted to get this video done so you could see me with the product and the fact that I am shaking because I just come off a 107-mile bike ride. 16-mile-an-hour average. But... Hey, this cream is amazing. All right, thank you, people.